Hey, how's it going? And I'm James from Tech Planet, and today I'm going to show you something a little bit different, and it's something you probably have never seen before. It's called a model cyclotron, and instead of moving particles, this one actually moves magnets around a track. Now, these kits range from $80 to $200, depending on which website you buy them from, but they are still pretty cool, and they are definitely worth building, so I'll give you a more in-depth look here on how this thing actually works. So as you can see, we are technically not looking at a real cyclotron, but nevertheless, this shows a really good concept of how the real device works. Now, it's not perfectly efficient because the magnets do encounter air resistance and they do drag on a track. It's still pretty neat and it has fairly fast rotation at 20 to 30 laps per minute. Now, to find the magnetic field strength of the coil, you just basically use the values of the permittivity of airspace and the material by the number of turns over the length times the amperage. So it's a pretty simple calculation. So this particular kit runs on 12 volts, 8 watts, so it's not very much and I don't have many turns in these coils. But another neat thing you could do too is that with this kind of kit you can add more coils and they are independently controlled and they do have infrared sensors so technically you could induce power back into the system if you wrapped coils around the track but that wouldn't be really practical now as you can see if i push the magnet this way the magnet will not go through so the coils are only one acting in one direction on the magnet and if we push it the other way the magnet will constantly accelerate until it reaches its maximum speed for this type of configuration. An interesting thing I'm gonna build next is a permanent magnet array uh, cyclotron. So this is theoretically not possible, but I'm gonna test what one gentleman called David Lapointe. I'm gonna test this theory and see if this thing actually propels magnets in a circle like this contraption here. And if it does, well, I guess you could call it an overunity device, but magnets do lose their magnetism over time, so technically it wouldn't be, and it's not going to generate a lot of power because the magnet's going to shoot through here at both four of these, and it's going to generate just a few watts, so it's nothing incredible. But anyways, I hope that will be interesting to watch, and make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, well, I will see you in the next video.